Hello everyone and now welcome to a game between North Drakkar versus New Jabez. Do I know who these players are? I do not. Does this game come highly recommended? It does from Warcraft 3 info. For all of your Warcraft 3 information needs, well, I don't even need to finish that sentence now, do I? Um, no, I did not get plugged to say that. I just feel as though um, if you are looking for more Warcraft 3 information, more replays, updates on tournaments or just um, um, strategy articles that is the place to go right now so much at so many resources and um, for this tight-knit beloved community who um, well is keeping um, a great game alive let's go ahead and zoom out just a little bit and this promises to be a great game let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit i do i am limited on time as we are going into crypt fiends coming in from north drakkar meanwhile we are going for I don't know what we are going for from coming in from the human player. It looks as though it is going to be a tavern hero. So tavern hero, footman already running across here. And um, it is going to be Crypt Lord, Crypt Fiend. So while well, North Drakkar completely bugging out. Meanwhile, still no idea of the strategy coming across from New Jabez. We are, uh, well, I don't want to butcher the names anymore. So let's just call them um, undead and human throughout the rest of the match all right dark ranger first interestingly enough coming across from the human player so human player not gonna have to worry about the the death coil nuking that dark ranger early on but then well there will be some difficulties in trying to keep that dark ranger healed that dark ranger will need a lot of well will need a lot of healing and if you want healing for humans, you are definitely going to be going for priest. And priest will then become major, major targets as well. Some black arrows going down. There goes another mammoth. And this army is growing at um, a log logarithmic rate. Every time you take out something, well, another thing pops up in its place. Especially effective against um, your enemy who is going to be getting a very large army here. Two skeletal minions here already, four footmen. Militia already be able to pull back as we are going to be going into an engagement. Going after that Null Ward in there. However, a purge goes onto a skeletal minion. Going after the Null Poulter should be next as that will pop up a skeleton. And this is an easy way for an army to grow quickly and clear out difficult creep camps. Off to the north, we're looking at the undead player already going wide with a whole bunch of beetles. There's the Crypt Fiend. Should be summoning up a Ziggurat and haunting that gold mine here in just a moment. All right, battle getting underway. A very wide creep camp again. Going to go after perhaps that Ice Troll Priest. No, going after that Ice Troll Trapper first. Trapper going to get taken uh, taken down. No skeletal minion uh, will spawn there as we're going to see a final arrow. Come on, finish off that Ice Troll. Nope, not doing a good job trying to just get more and more skeletal minions three creeps getting cleared out with no additional skeletal minions popping on up um so new so the human player is going to have a little bit of an uphill uphill to climb self-imposed uh well restrictions and limited uh, units because of that extra additional micro not going out of his way back off to the north we're looking at dual ziggurats and a haunted gold mine acolytes already being trained up as well as we're looking at the tuscar trapper about to get cleared up footmen do have defend gonna clear things up here going after the trapper here not going after the sorcerer meanwhile this entire base gonna easily be cleaned up as there are beetles and crypt fiends all nearby here all right dark ranger may get to level three will get to level three taking that down level three now on that dark ranger going after that tracker I'm sure he would want three additional skeletal minions if he um, could ask for them. Peasants now getting cleaned up here. Meanwhile, well, we're looking at more skeletal minions coming in from the behind. The tracker going to get taken down. Dark Ranger wants to make sure to get off that last shot. Does get the last shot. Going to grab a crystal ball and now finish off these skeletal warriors. Shouldn't be using black arrows against these skeletal warriors. They'll auto turning, um, turning off that auto attack to return to well save up on mana can also be very important as well dark ranger running around across the map now could clear out some additional well wide creep camps i believe this creep camp is fairly wide should be easy to clean up um, as long as well nope not going to be going after it instead going to go after the main base which could be a bit of an uphill climb economic advantage nearing completion for the undead 
as the Dark Ranger looking to clear things up here, going after some of those ghouls. Ghouls are now looking to fight back. Black Arrows going to, well, create some quick work of those ghouls. One Dark Minion already back out, and that Dark Minion does deal very large amount of damage and is going to be generating health on a Blight. All right. Two Dark Minions out here onto the battlefield. A third one about to be added. There it goes. There it goes. A third one as more ghouls could get cleaned up. Dark Ranger also putting in pressure here. This ghoul going to get taken down. And there could be lumber problems. There goes an Impale. But the Impale doesn't deal that much damage. You need the remaining units to try and well, finish off units while all the units are stunned. No real stuns there either. As we're going to be looking at Black Arrows finishing off another Crypt Fiend there. Getting up to level 4. Dark Ranger now up to 84 man of footmen going after all of these acolytes and the damage is just simply racking up all over the place all right that crypt lord suffering a lot of damage here but should really be going after the crypt fiends and other units as well as that's going to generate more skeletal minions as acolytes are now fall starting to fall footmen with defend able to reflect back a decent amount of damage meanwhile the dark ranger continuing to rack up more and more kills here going after the carry on beetles to take them down but you are just going to see more beetles just spawn up pretty much instantaneously as you are right next to that graveyard. As long as that Crypt Lord has mana, more beetles will be infesting. Our Dark Ranger needs to get out of this sticky situation. He does, or she does have a, um, excuse me, she does have an experience lead, sitting at 4.3 compared to 3.6, but the expansion is up and operational for the undead, meaning that, well, human has a bit of an uphill climb to go. Arcane Sanctum now added. We should be looking at perhaps um, Clarity Potions trying to rebuild and reorganize everything here. A couple of beetles um, now looking to try and take down these two low hit point footmen. Dark Ranger trying to offer a bit of protection as we are looking at, well, we're going to be looking at the Arcane Tower here, able to clean those things up pretty easily. New Beetle making its way over 15 to 18 damage. This footman down to 13 hit points, going to try and back away, and that beetle is going to end up getting taken down. All right, scroll of regeneration. All the footmen need to get nearby. Not quite sure why they aren't. Come on, footmen. Move over. Move over. No, selling some items. Now we're all going to move over and now heal up. Also needs to do a little bit of training as well as once that farm is done. Dual arcane sanctums nearly done. However, currently supply block, so it doesn't matter how many arcane sanctums you have unless you have the supply cap to actually train up those units. Undead looking to close out that hero level experience lead, getting up to level 4 here after this creep camp. Dark Ranger still sitting inside his base, looking to regenerate a bit more hit points. Clarity Potion, getting that Dark Ranger back up to 200 mana and climbing. All right, the Dark Ranger will want to try and clear out this Trapper creep camp fairly fast, going straight after um, the Ice Troll Trapper and then those other remaining units. Rifleman also going to go ahead and target down as the Blood Mage now makes its way out onto the battlefield. Forest Troll High Priest could be that next target instead going after that Sasquatch as we're seeing Siphon Mana into the Dark Ranger. Back down to the south side here, Crypt Lord sitting at level 4. Now doing some creeping as well as the tech to tier 2 is done and we do not see a second hero yet. That means that the Crypt Lord will be getting that 15% experience bonus um, at tier 2 for being a solo hero. No expansion at the south either for the human player so things could get very nasty very quickly as the undead um, well, should be able to build up a very large economic advantage and then come over the top as he's already sitting on a 1,200 gold. All right, Sorcerer getting t cleaned up here. The Blood Mage should really be trying to siphon mana away from this tracker here, get more mana, and then funnel it back into that Dark Ranger, constantly keeping it all topped off. The priests are also going to need some mana as well. There's only one priest to try and heal up this entire la large, large army as the... Blood Mage, well, who's going to get the mana right now? Um, looks as though the... Yep, actually should have given to the Blood Mage a siphon man, and then siphon mana into the Dark Ranger and then given it back over. That would have been quite, a, quite the amount there as we see triple towers protecting the expansion here. All right. Well... Undead going to be making a play back over across here in just a moment. Rod of Necromancy and now going to be doing the long, long walk. However, the footmen and the skeletal minions actually making very short work of that uh, 
of that ex um, of all of those towers and now a flame strike going down dealing quite a bit of damage to those acolytes as well one acolyte could get taken down another acolyte taken down more beetles getting cleaned up there goes an impale siphon mana potion of mana or um, used as well as the blood mage could try and throw down another flame strike too all right only one priest here as there is a bunch of beetles on the ground two priests i mean well no one priest spoke into the future as the uh, crypt lord able to get an impale off and there is that follow up a bit of damage those crypt fiends that are needed in order to finish the job here one low hit point crypt fiend not going to get taken down as the expansion holds on by a thread coming back through human gonna go ahead and heal back up undead rebuilding that expansion now obsidian statues here um well doing a bit of healing and we are still looking at a solo, solo Crypt Lord. So we may be trying to get up to level 6 on that Crypt Lord. Level 6 with that ultimate ability. Very powerful, um, especially when your opponent's army has gone wide as, well, the Crypt Lord essentially turns into a Starcraft carrier. And with all of those beetles swarming out and also giving a bit of heals. Now, a large number of priests have joined in on the battle here, and we are at Adept training, no sign of, of mastery as we are not yet at tier, th um, tier 3 castle. The priest, however, um, not controlled perfectly, not staying with the group of units, and that could potentially come back to haunt the human player a little bit of unit control and goes of, of, well, a very, very long way. Are we going to see a flame strike go down onto that spirit tower? Meanwhile, um, well, the Crippler trying to clear out a red creep camp. He's going to be a bit slower. Does get Kagar's Pipe of Insight, though, which will keep these obsidian statues topped off quite a bit longer. And by keeping them top off, he doesn't need to transform them into destroyers for use, um, to be useful. All right, five priests completely in the back here. Crypt Fiends could have easily bolted this down. There's a Siphon Mana. There is an Impale as a Flame Strike now going to go down across multiple Crypt Fiends who now need to clear out of the way. Rifleman now joining on the battle. A little bit of miscontrol right there as the uh, uh, well, Blood Mage can continue to get in more Siphon Mana. There is one Burrowed Crypt Fiend. Another Flame Strike could go down. Footmen do have the Fed. Now, there is some Dispel magic trying to clean things up as the crypt lord now looks to retreat back another flame strike could go down not quite sure why that's a perfect cluster of crypt fiends to try and get flame strike going as we see an a silence go down on that crypt lord too all right there goes that flame strike finally after all that time a little bit of damage as the crypt fiends are going to be forced to retreat back there is once more more a death of those footmen as the priests were not engaged in combat at all not doing any healing whatsoever and that was a bit of an uphill um, battle there all right unburrowing of that crypt fiend in time as the expansion is now being rebuilt by human and this expansion by the undead about to fall. Hi, my life season three ep well, episode. I don't know what episode it is, but um, let me know what happens in the finale. Coming back around, um, undead going to lose this here. Meanwhile, Crippings are going to come in and put in pressure. All of these priests are ease ripe for the picking. Um, you can see a little bit of damage as they're quickly trying to run by, but it's going to be the riflemen taking the damage instead of those priests. The riflemen actually have better armor to resist against all that. There goes a nasty impale, and well, there is a bunch of death right there taking down a handful of units. Once more, one more round of attacks on that priest or one more attack on that priest would have been enough. Human player has, well, the economic advantage now, but is currently behind in terms of supply. We are at tier three tech advantage belonging to undead. No big surprise there. But more importantly, the upgrade advantage and army size advantage is there for undead. Expansion being replaced down as, well, the Dark Ranger actually sticking around in this fight. Going to be taking away some precious mana from the Blood Mage as the Blood Mage needs to get some siphon mana off to try and top off as well once more priests are healing back up again and well that was a missed opportunity there to try and get more mana from the uh, well environment unhold well, excuse me that is going to be vampiric aura on that dark ranger however no footmen or knights to really benefit only the skeletal minions who well aren't going to be doing all that much abomination right there we're looking at the crypt lord continuing to clear out creep camps maybe even though he is not going to be able to gain experience, it is just as important to deny experience for that blood mage 
um, who can still level up right now. Back off to the north here, Acolyte nearing, well, trying to uh, finish mining here. This one Acolyte is going to end up getting taken down by that Greater Dark Minion if he is not careful. Greater Dark Minion dealing significant damage, 16 to 19 um, um, normal attack damage. I think that's essentially a grunt as Arcane Towers are now trying to uh, well feed back all of these units here. All right, there's that Siphon Mana and a beautiful Siphon Mana. The Impale just a little bit off the side there as the Crypt Lord doesn't have enough mana to try and well use that ultimate ability meanwhile that burrowed crypt fiend burrowed its head in in the, the hot hot ground there but that obsidian statue able to keep it alive arcane tower continuing to feed back here ripe and trying to put pressure in as the arcane towers well trying to shut things down perhaps should be going after that obsidian statue if it is within range more ghouls swarming after the peasants here and the crypt lord is continuing to gain more and more um, experience as a big flame strike goes down there goes one crypt fiend there more crypt fiends are attempting to scatter as the abomination also retreating back 59 supply compared to 58 both sides fairly even overall as the ghouls are in still a massive retreat all right no one are taking any real lead whatsoever 58 supply compared to 60 as um, well, sorceresses are now being added out here onto the battlefield, able to catch some of these trailing units. No destroyers to be seen to devour this magic as, for some reason, well, not trying to go after that low hit point ghoul. Low hit, or well, that slowed ghoul. 288 hit point ghoul going to be able to retreat back. Burrowed, Crypt Bean sticking his head in the sand. Arcane Tower did not have that arcane brilliance or Ar Arcane Sentry to be able to see underneath the ground one of those minor upgrades that is definitely worth worth it as one Arcane Tower gives you a reveal for free on a cooldown and then from then on you don't have to use um, 50 gold to try and reveal from, excuse me, from that um, observatory. All right. So Dark Ranger versus Crypt Lord. A Dark Ranger so far, um, well, if things go right for him, could get into possession or go into charm. And once charm is on the table, well, things completely go sideways. Being able to charm down enemy units and just translate, um, translate uh, mana into resources, just like the Goblin Alchemist, does make things go sideways quickly. Also, remember the Blood Mage can make sure to keep the Dark Ranger topped off at all time as we see a potion of greater healing. Oh, thank you for that free ghoul there as the Dark Ranger gets a minion there. All right, potion of greater healing has been dropped. That should be picked up as well. No, don't leave behind a potion of greater healing. All right, potion of greater healing, a major item drop for some reason not being picked up right now, even though it does... Oh, I, I guess this must be his camera view, not actually watching that, that potion of greater healing being left behind. And we'll see if that comes back to haunt a little bit later. All right, come on, Dark Ranger. You're going to be right next to it. Yes, thank you. Pick it up. All right, big, big item drop right there. 68 supply compared to 65. Human now, or uh, undead army now with abominations and disease cloud. Also, Banshees with Possession. That is going to be an important, important aspect of the game. Claws of Attack plus 9 on that Crypt Lord as the armies are getting underway. Skeletal Minions or Greater Dark Minions are diving on inside the main base as a battle now ensues. All right, Impale onto the Dark Ranger. Solo Impale right there. Flame Strike could end up going down across all of these units. Are we going to see a Siphon Mana as the Magnetar Reaver actually, well, trying to engage in this battle? Crypt Fiends able to clean up a couple of things here as the Blood Mage does throw down a Flame Strike across all those Crypt Fiends, forcing them to retreat back. Magnetar Reaver um, joining in on, or trying to figure out where to go as we see the ultimate ability of the Crypt Lord going to start, well, pecking away at those, uh, um, at the experience points there. Big uh, dispel magic there to try and stop those carry on beetles as another impale picks up and drops things off. So much damage just slowly eating away at those riflemen and all of these units. There goes another impale siphon mana once more. That brilliance aura really keeping that Crypt Lord topped off on mana for quite a bit of time as the Crypt Lord still making its way over and now Obsidian Statue is being brought over as well. Banshees could get burned down there. No, gonna stay barely alive as this level 7 Crypt Lord with an amazing strong push 
the creeps really giving in a little bit of additional help as the obsidian statues are going to keep things going up with a bit longer dark ranger not yet close enough to level six to really matter as the units do need to get taken down here dark ranger needs to make some quick work there goes a flame strike one crypt fiend could get taken down oh the burrowing of the crypt fiend. no um getting burned to a crisp right there abomination gonna fall here dark ranger still not gonna have enough to get to level six trying to um uh, slowly get there um uh, once again all right Dark Ranger are gonna get gonna be very close if it can get the Abomination experience. No, Dark Ranger needs to stay close by enough. Is it gonna get there? No, it is not. Needs 18 more experience. There's another Flame Strike, and Crypt Fiends could end up getting taken down once more. Not quite sure why we aren't going after that low hit point Abomination in that front now, giving level six to the Dark Ranger, who should now be going after Obsidian statues. No, goes after a Crypt Fiend instead, as the Crypt Fiend does turn right there. All right. Going after the um, Crypt Fiend. I don't think you can actually charm a mechanical unit, maybe. As or um, as we're looking at the Dark Ranger now going back after these remaining units here. Level 5 now on the Blood Mage. As the Peasants able to repair back. Look at all of these low hit point Peasants. One well-timed Impale would have taken them all out instead. Human still has his economic advantage going. Now... Springtime 1.3 does have an odd number of gold mines. And as this game goes along, there's 10 minutes left of mining on this top base. We may actually see a fight in the middle of this map here to get that extra bit of precious, precious gold. Um, that could be the defining factor here as the Dark Ranger still really needs quite a bit more mana. And we are now upgrading the castle. Main bases have... Um, been mined out for human undead still has a little bit more couple of riflemen not being controlled properly and well making this army significantly weaker instead of 64 supply only only what 58 compared to 72 that is quite a difference here all right more riflemen i'm gonna re rejoin up everywhere else now the m map shows no more creeps on the map anywhere so any if you want to level up, you do need to engage against your opponent and, well, do a fight there. Solo Crypt Lord it does have that, um, the ultimate ability, that Locust Swarm. It does, it does deal a large amount of damage. And that Brilliance Aura, as I said, on that Crypt Lord is keeping these Obsidian Statues um, significantly, um, well, significantly stronger throughout this matchup as... Um, well, they have a bit more passive regeneration that really does add up over time. Dark Ranger at level 6. Um, Blood Mage going to pick up pick up the Mantle of Intelligence and now have a little bit more mana once again. Army now barreling down the highway here. You can see a burrowed Crypt Fiend um, acting as a scout. Beautifully done. And now there is that engagement once more. All right. Trying to go after. There is a possession onto an Abomination. And that's exactly what we were expect or waiting to see. There's some more Dispel Magic. Go, go after and finish off those targets. You have... Um, you have all of you have so much mana here. The beetles are just surrounding, and now you're just going to end up giving experience to your opponent. There could have been an easy kill. Army not fighting together, as the beetles are now going to try to swarm back the other way. Abominations making their way through, pushing pressure back again. As the riflemen, priest, and sorceress working together here, uh, the army composition simply so many priests at this point, and well, that's where that's when you really need to use it for those um, for, for those dispels. A big flame strike across the center portion of the map. The impale just a little bit late. As level three siphon mana over level three flame strike. If you're wondering why the uh, well the crypt fiends didn't take that much damage from that flame strike, it is the only the level two variety. Blood Mage needs to get in more impales. Dark Ranger could be in trouble. Potion of Greater Healing used in time as it is going to turn back around. That Locust Swarm really pushing pressure in now. 80 over 80 supply as the units are now diving into position. Dark Ranger needs to save up that mana. Really shouldn't be using the Black Arrows on all of those low hit point or on those beetles as a Flame Strike does go down. Siphon mana perhaps from the Blood Mage could uh, be helpful as there are Obsidian Statues in the back to try and target. More beetles are fighting their way through. Dark Ranger is no... Well, 
up still using those black arrows now trying to take down an abomination here 52 supply compared to 77 undead seemingly having a big advantage as we are not getting knights to deal as the archmage now shows up out into the battlefield what can the archmage really do at this point in the stage in the game trying to drop in some water elementals to try to uh, well win back here siphon mana perhaps into the dark ranger um could give a little bit more for possession again are we going to see another possessed unit get another abomination there we are and um, getting that abomination to uh, get back into this game here more abominations are going to end up falling as well as one abomination is still inside the base is it going to actually stay stick around so long that the dark ranger is going to be able to possess it again no it looks like it is just going to be converted into experience instead all right archmage sitting at level one disease cloud across multiple units no brilliance aura as of yet as it is still sitting at level one level two brilliance aura most definitely will be happening 57 supply compared to 57 and both sides have had the advantage throughout the game but both sides have been making minor mistakes and um, allowing the other player to get back into this um, we've seen this time and time again in lower level um, play where uh, well it, it takes a slip up often for the other player to get an advantage um, in high level play often there are just no errors there is no slip ups and 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 then one minor slip ups ca um, well cascades and snowballs into a loss instead we're looking at slip ups left and right and not and but once one slip up deserves another allowing the other player to get back into this as we're looking at the undead now holding the center expansion here all right acolytes about to um, take down there's a flame strike going across here of crypt fiends and abominations absorbing quite a bit of damage their possession is available siphon mana should really be given to the dark ranger to be able to possess another abomination here not quite sure why this isn't happening as the blood mage now looks to retreat back dark ranger really uh, really should not be using um should not be using black arrow that aggressively unless um well yeah we really shouldn't be using black arrow that aggressively are we uh, are you gonna see uh, any any more stealing of units the abomination needs to get into that front line spot blood mage actually low on mana impale could go down and here we are getting in with no real front line there goes an impale once more abomination now trying to rush on in uh, we should be looking at a charm here the cooldown is ready to go and well level six dark ranger gonna go ahead and charm another abomination again crypt fiends continuing to fight back here 45 second cooldown on that on that ultimate ability continuing to fight its way through rifleman continuing to poke apart as that abomination now tries to retreat back new abomination joining in on the battle and the abominations well could end up getting taken down by both sides pretty quickly 24 seconds left on that um on that charm ability again as the crypt fiends are starting to poke back the other way a flame strike now going across onto the crypt fiends the crypt fiends are well t well getting a little bit roasted once again as we see a level nine crypt lord now out here onto the battlefield not much of an army only casters here and the casters are not going to stand up well against all of these crypt fiends you can see the focus fire and how much they can burst down these crypt fiends here there goes one there goes two there goes three priests in a matter of seconds as the possession is ready once more and there is that abomination turning around again all right is abomination gonna be or is that possession give me enough to turn the tide or is just the experience going to be constantly given to the crypt lord to have a level 10 hero at level 10 the the sheer amount of sturdiness of a level 10 crypt lord is um, well astronomical as he does get that spiked carapace and is already at 12 armor at level 9. all right there's a scroll of town portal exiting away economic advantage for the undead two bases compared to one but this uh this base off to the north about to finish mining out all right looking through overall 51 supply compared to 75 undead needs a way to close out this game with a solo hero going up against triple heroes now this is going to be a problem a level 10 crypt lord by himself 
can normally cannot go up against multiple level five heroes. It's just the synergy um, that does not wor um, work out well. All right, Priest now looking to retreat back here. A flame strike would have been perfect right here. Uh, just a lot of congestion there as the um, Blood Mage continuing uh, once more. All right, are we going to look at any more um, charms? No, no charms as of yet. There goes an Impale, and that is going to be some damage racked up once more. All right, there was a possession on to a Sorceress, so a Sorceress did go the other way. There's some Dispel magic as well racking up a little bit of damage and that's slow getting cast across other units making them making it difficult for them to retreat there is another charm again and that abomination well going to turn around the other way uh try to stomp on some bugs but that army is just simply too large 37 supply compared to 67 there goes a flame strike that's going to rip through some of the banshees in that front line position but they're still going to stay alive as it is only level two flame strike not the level three variety all right another flame strike does go down and that may be enough to finish uh, off uh, at least a banshee or two as we're still looking at units fighting their way level 10 now on the crypt lord level seven now on the dark ranger blood mage still sitting at level five archmage still sitting at level two as the dark ranger does have a very strong auto attack even without those black arrows another possession could be underway as the dark ranger does have enough mana could perhaps try and grab a crypt fiend as the units are retreating back no reason not to as well cooldown is the only limiting factor right now all right more units getting finished off here dark ranger should be going after trying to slowly steal enemy units every opportunity that it can get but just not happening 69 supply compared to 39 dark ranger ready to push back the other way and undead doesn't want to make any more mistakes gonna sit behind this his economic advantage and is well now into 81 supply actually into high um, um high upkeep to try and finish things off here all right there goes one crypt fiend an another crypt or a couple more crypt fiends getting taken down will give level six to that blood mage where is the dark ranger the dark ranger nowhere to be seen to try and possess this abomination in that frontline position there's another flame strike here and it really feels like level three flame strike would have been the better call in this fight over level three siphon mana as there isn't enough enemy heroes to try and siphon mana away from he hasn't been using siphon mana uh, enough to really warrant um, level three siphon mana and those flame strikes could have finished off multiple crypt fiends um, and multiple banshees at this point and stage in the game. Dark Ranger hanging back here. North now going into high upkeep, actually behind economically as it is one base to one. But he is getting four gold a second compared to seven or, or compared to ten. All right. So human player currently getting ten gold a second compared to four. Um, just because, um, well, North is currently in high upkeep and not maintaining that very well at all. Blood Mage could easily get to level 6 here. And at level 6, you better believe a Phoenix will be in a play as the Crypt Fiends now trying to make their way over. Dark Ranger trying to come back, perhaps try and possess in another Abomination here. Here we are going into an engagement. Flame Strike Silence going down. There's a Flame Strike there. And we're going to be looking at one dead priest already. A Banshee uh, still holding on as the Blood Mage able to siphon mana from that Crypt Lord, but breaking that chain pretty quickly. All right, there goes a Nasty Impale across multiple units. Is that going to be enough? No, Squirrel Town Portal quickly trying to get away. There's a Departing Flame Strike trying to finish things off as the Blood Mage was a little bit too far away as the Arch Mage also gets focused down. All right, Blood Mage down to 70, 42 hit points. 44, all of those little ghouls trying to finish things off and take down that Blood Mage who was so low on hit points. And another missed opportunity by North to take down a level 5, soon to be level 6 Blood Mage. Oh, wow. Blood Mage, 8 experience shy from being able to get a Phoenix up. Well, well one Abomination... Um, off to the north here, not getting healed up at all. This is part of his supply issue. Um, being close to a priest could easily heal him back up pretty quickly as we're going to be looking at perhaps no north, no up, no charm or no possession again. More flame strike going down. 89 supply compared to 50. And what is going on here? More uh, beetles rushing on through. And with uh, these mastery trained uh, priests, I would expect just a plenty of dispel magic 
to make sure that those beetles don't do any real damage whatsoever. Phoenix could throw up or a Phoenix could be joining in on the skies right now. Two ultimate abilities. Archmage also going to get resurrected here in just a second. But this game is has been messy on both sides. North unsure of how to close out this game and human and not taking his not taking the necessary risk to try and well slowly win a war of attrition with that ultimate ability all right flame strike going down blood mage does have a phoenix has opted not to use the ultimate ability again trying to go after and those units once more are still no possession as of yet there you go there's that charms again i keep on using charm and possession back and forth my apologies as we're looking at another flame strike going down archmage now sitting up at level three gonna take a little bit of burn damage anti-magic shell finally coming across from those banshees as the blood mage needs to see a little bit of heals as well priests need to heal up that blood mage blood mage also suffering from disease cloud as well as we see a couple of impales right there 54 supply compared to 89 staff of sanctuary saving that rifleman there blood mage trying to siphon more mana away from the crypt lord able to do exactly that as we're looking at a phoenix now joining in on the battle quickly getting webbed down though so that phoenix is not going to be able to stick around very long however well we're going to be looking at a couple of abominations falling during this time and the phoenix egg not getting attacked right now Phoenix Egg not getting attacked. We know what's going to happen here in just a little bit of time as the Blood Mage siphons more mana away from that anti, from that Banshee. All right. Phoenix continuing to rack up deal damage here. It does deal a, a damage over time if you're just next to it. But once again, are we going to finally see the Phoenix Egg destroyed? Yes, we are. Flame Strike now going down, but doesn't know that there is two burrowed Crypt Fiends there that would have been easily um, destroyed. Once again, Archmage sitting at level three with level two water elementals, dropping those water elementals, trying to throw things back as the, well, the Dark Ranger and the, the Blood Mage retreating back inside the base providing cover 78 supply compared to 47 both sides still fighting their way through as damage is still racking up crypt lord maxed out on mana blood mage heading back off to the north here should be well should really need to pick up that uh claws of attack dark ranger gonna go ahead and heal up here in just a moment come on wait wait for it wait for it getting all the units nearby all right and now should be picking up that claws of attack plus 12 expansion down to the south only about what four minutes of mining left three and a half minutes of mining crypt fiends abominations and 82 supply army going up against 50 and it really is the upkeep that is being the issue undead only getting four gold a second compared to human getting 10 gold a second and that could be enough to overcome as human now starting to build up a bit of a bank in order to bounce back once North starts to run out of gold as well. North's center expansion has five minutes of mining left. Uh, three minutes of mining still in the center. A bunch of burrowed crypt fiends here. This it could be a trap. And here we are going to be going into an engagement. All right, there's a beautiful trap right there. The crypt fiends cutting off the line of escape. And we do not have a scroll of town portal. However, no impale coming across from the crypt lord as the ultimate ability was used and said ultimate ability or impale could be used. Where they're go well, just siphon mana. How come he didn't impale? Finally impales, but only gets the blood mage there. There goes another a charm again. Again, as the Crypt Lord trying to fight its way through. All right, that it, that silence lasting for quite a bit. Blood Mage able to siphon back a bit of mana. Another Flame Strike could go down across those Crypt Fiends as they're going to be walking through the center again. More Priests will need to do their job trying to heal up all of these units as all of the Archmage and Dark Ranger and Blood Mage being forced to retreat back. Meat Wagons joining in on the fight as well. 48 supply compared to 78 as the Archmage runs back the far side and the Rubian Tower is getting in on the action and slowing things down. All right, there goes a Flame Strike and that's a very narrow, narrow walkway. All of those Crypt suffering terrible damage as they go through and now the Blood Mage will end up getting destroyed or taken down once now. Um, Blood Mage take a uh, fallen here. Rifleman going to finish off a couple of the ghouls here pretty easily. Dark Ranger still doesn't have enough mana um, for any more possessions as the Blood Mage quickly resurrected at the tavern. All right, the abomination that, well, well now getting staffed the Sanctuary sent all the way back home. Um, he finally checked the minimap and said, hey, wait a second. I have 
a body over there. How do I have a body over there? And well, I'm going to send this abomination back home to get healed back up. All right. <clears throat> I, don't, I have no bots in chat. That's why no one's saying anything. All right, Cra crazy, crazy game so far. Unpredictable, a little bit messy, but still entertaining as Crypt Fiends are ready to push down and shut down this expansion here. Archmage ready to push back the other way. Blood Mage, are we going to see a Flame Strike? Yes, Flame Strike across the center right there. Crypt Fiends trying to stick their head in the sand to stop the burning, but well. They're still suffering quite a bit of damage here once more. More siphon mana away. Blood Mage could be throwing up a Phoenix here in just a moment. Does have a Phoenix in a take down a handful of ghouls. 48 supply compared to 68 as the Blood Mage now pushes back once more. All right. Um, Meat Wagon, well, trying to engage against the towers. Could easily get taken down as the Phoenix. Yeah. Phoenix, 61 to 75 magic damage. Pretty much instantaneously takes down that half hit point Meat Wagon. 48 supply compared to 61. Dark Ranger still has plenty of mana. Could try and possess, or excuse me, charm more targets again and again. As North um, starting to lose this War of Attrition. There, nope, come on, charm it. Possess it. You... I don't know what he's waiting for. Coming back through... Yeah, Dark Ranger had the perfect opportunity to try and charm that target. There goes a Flame Strike onto the onto the buildings here. That's going to suffer quite a bit of damage. Units now trying to retreat back. All right, what are we going to see here? Do we see a do we see a possession? No, we do not. Uh, silence, siphon mana as the Dark Ranger losing a little bit of mana here once more. All right, Archmage going to come back the other way. Bla Dark Ranger still with those black arrows trying to get skeletal minions instead of actually just taking the one of those abominations easily there goes another flame strike gonna be finishing things off more abominations joining in from the side as well 44 supply compared to 62 as both sides are still fighting their way through dark ranger down to 115 mana unable to possess or charm any target right now blood mage could try and give some mana as the phoenix is still in the back not engaging right now could finally try and engage here as we're going to be seeing there goes a flame strike there goes that phoenix phoenix pretty much instantaneously taken down and well focused down there blood mage Give mana to the Dark Ranger. Dark Ranger, go ahead and possess another Abomination and continue at rinse and repeat until you have all of your opponent's units. Not quite sure what we are waiting for here as the Obsidian Statue getting taken down. Archmage sitting at level 3, level 2, Brilliant Sora. Um, well, just um, just outside of range as we see Burrow constantly being used to great effect so far and still no Arcane Sentry from the Guard Towers at all. All right, there goes a possession onto a Crypt Fiend instead of an Abomination as there is Siphon Mana as well, that Crypt Lord unable to get away easily. All right, more Crypt Fiend, more damage getting racked up. That is some low hit point Abominations to just finish them off, gain the experience. There goes level 4 now uh, on that Archmage who now has level 2 brilliance aura all right at this point in the stage in the game i cannot say whether human um, has was able to pull off the victory or if undead gave away the victory as this center gold mine is now mined out with no additional resources of uh, the human player doing a great job making sure to stay in no upkeep the entire time to neutralize the economic advantage as we see more siphon mana coming back from that blood mage again uh, no or no possession for some odd reason. There goes another Abomination. That's going to get taken down. There's a new Phoenix out in play. That's going to get webbed and destroyed pretty quickly as the Blood Mage not engaging for odd, some strange reason here. All right, trying to go after that Phoenix Egg. Phoenix Egg down to 118 hit points. Flame Strike allowing, forcing all of the units to run on through. And that's going to give enough time for that Phoenix Egg to hatch back up again. All right, Acolyte going to get taken down. Biggest throw of my life. I'm ashamed. GG, well played, brother. Really fun game. Yeah, back and forth um, a game. But yeah, a pretty bit, fairly large throw by North. But North also only going for a solo hero. And with only a solo hero, eventually the multi-hero of the human army was able to not only catch up, but surpass in overall experience. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.